Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time and preview to show you this Cincinnati Contour Master milling machine. This Contour Master American made milling machine happens to have a serial number of a 7J1H5D 17. This machine has a step pulley design on the speed change for the head. It's set up as a vertical milling machine and the head is very unique. It'll tilt, the frame of the ram is unique. It'll tilt forward and it'll tilt backwards. So pretty cool there as well as the fact that the ram will come in and out. Alright, getting back to the specs, we have a 10 inch by 42 inch table area. The travels on this machine, it'll do 12 inches in the cross, 27 to 28 inches in the X, left to right, 15 inches on the knee, and your quill will come up and down approximately three and a half inches. That being said, what we've done is we've currently set up a three quarter inch diameter shank onto a Jacobs collet chuck, uh, excuse me, on a Jacobs drill chuck, and this Jacobs drill chuck is going up into a Cincinnati collet chuck. Okay? So, easy peasy, we got that all figured out. The machine runs good, looks good. We're not trying to get rich on this one, we're just trying to pass it along and make someone a nice machine for a situation where if you needed a good, rugged, heavy pattern machine, but again, it's in a three-phase fashion. The machine is not single-phase, it's three-phase. So a uh, rotary phase converter or a VFD-style phase converter may be required in some situations if you're putting it in your garage. Okay, that being said, enough, uh, enough funny business. Let's go ahead and run this machine for you and show you how well it performs. Okay, Frankie's coming up and down on the quill. Very nice. Let me back up a little bit, I'm a little bit too close. Okay, we've got the table going left, table going right. So, it's essentially the same as a bridge port, other than the fact that it's not a bridge port, it's a Cincinnati Contour Master. The knee comes up and down, the table goes in and out, goes left and right, it has an acme screw. Acme screw. The machine's also set up with a Bajor oiler, so we have a complete oiling package on X, Y, and Z. The overall weight on this machine is approximately 2,500 pounds. And again, on the spindle speeds, we're ranging from 215 to 5,600 RPM with approximately eight changes. That being said, I'm going to verify off of it right here, 215 on the lower right, 5600 on the top left. The machine has a newer belt in it. It runs quiet and runs smooth. There's some really cool tags on this machine too, so we're going to show you those as well. The condition of the table in a 10 inch by 42 inch is still in pretty decent shape. The ways are nice. Let's go ahead and park here and let you absorb it for a minute. Okay, do you want to do one or two more spindle speed changes or anything like that, or just keep it on a short, short video? Let me show them in there how to do it. Okay, let's do. Let's do. Okay, so that being said. You go off of this handle here, oops, sorry, you go off this handle here, you go in and change your desired configuration on the belt for whatever pattern you want for your speed. Now I want to get around and show them that one tag on the side. Here's your quill lever here for bringing it up and down. You have three and a half inches of stroke. That tag right there is worth the price of admission.
So it's a rugged little machine that runs well. Again, we're not trying to get rich on it, we're just trying to make a nice, uh, nice package for someone. And that being said, if there's any interest at all in a putting a rotary table on the machine, this happens to be our moor. Our beautiful moor, brand new in the wooden box, has the, uh, has the uh, drilled and tapped, T-slotted, drilled and tapped top, or the T-slotted table, and the attractive mahogany case, and it happens to be our stock number 667. We have several rotary tables here, pre-owned as well as used. We have some nice pre-owned in 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch. Additionally, we have a nice selection of vices. Of course, we offer the Kurt and the model D688 and all of its other models. Then we have some great high quality, superior quality import vices. Diamond does it on the superior quality import, but if you need one, please let us know. We'd be happy to work with you on uh, tuning it up in a proper fashion. So again, what we're doing is setting up a three-quarter inch shank. Oh, thanks. We got the book there too, huh? Three-quarter inch shank to a drill chuck. So whatever three-quarter inch tooling you want to come off of in a straight shank, it's all set up, ready to rock. Start, stop, left and right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Frankie would also like to point out the fact that we have the original manual for the machine. This is the Cincinnati Contour Master book. It's laid out very nicely. Here's your dimensional drawings. Goes through and has an exploded view. Here's the installation. Head and overarm. Talks about your collet, your setup there for your Crayley head collets, the drill chucks. I know you can't see it very well, but uh, basic saddle breakdown, exploded view. Anyway, uh, so we have the book for the machine, which also makes it nice. All right, well, uh, machinery consultants, we pride ourselves on uh, selling high-quality American-made machine tools located here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Additional photos in this video can be found on our website at www.machineryconsultants.com. Our phone number, we're just a quick phone call away at 801-531-9500. And until next time, we'd like to thank you for your interest in working with machinery consultants. Be happy, be healthy, and have a great day. Thanks again.